the most highly trained chimpanzee will never exceed the ability of a four-year-old child. And they will only mm. reach that if a human being made in the image of God actually initiates right. the training. You know, I have um, a very vivid memory as a child of being sat by a window looking out at the rain and suddenly the question coming into my head, why do I exist? Why do I think? Um, why am I a, a thinking being that experiences life? And I wasn't religious. I wasn't raised in a religious family. That question appeared seemingly from nowhere. And I don't think I'm alone in having those kind of questions, but the sciences alone and physical systems alone are not enough to answer them. Right. Um, and, and yet, if God exists, we have a basis that undergirds our understanding of why consciousness exists, because if God exists, then, con then physical systems were not what we began with. We began with God, and God is a conscious being. Hmm. The very first sentence of the Bible says, in the beginning, God. Um, and physical systems um, are a product of the work and creative work of this God. And therefore, consciousness precedes everything physical. Right. Um, and, and therefore, we can say, well, it exists because God exists. And we are kind of made in his image with his fingerprint, with his imprint. And so we are conscious because God is conscious and has made human beings to be a little bit like him. And so I feel like there's a lot of um, explanatory power in the Christian theism and, and how we think about consciousness, that just chalking it down to physics and chemistry, however complex and however kind of impressively sounding it, it is, is not going to answer that question uh, to its fullness. Right. And we're just going to wrap up with the next couple of minutes, maybe three to four minutes. This is one question that I wanted to ask you before we wrap up. Um, what, what, what is happening in the, in the existence of an animal? Do animals like chimpanzees and, and creatures, do they have a form of mind? And this question became fascinating to me because I saw this interaction between Deepak Chopra and Michael Shermer. And Deepak Chopra, of course, holds to this pantheistic sort of extreme in view. And he was talking about how cells have consciousness. Obviously, I'm not asking about the consciousness of cells, but we see animals behaving, responding, and we see cells uh, finding out about antibodies entering, uh, about germs entering the body and antibodies reacting and all of that. Uh, what is happening there? Do these creatures and cells have minds or how do we explain their behavior? Mm. Yes, I think that's a great question. Um, uh, I think if I just begin with your question about animal consciousness and then move on to the panpsychist side, side of it, because um, there are different ways of viewing that. Um, I think that it is, it is clear anyone that has a domestic pet of, you know, dog, cat, yeah. Uh, variety and and some others would would be convinced that they do have some degree of emotional life that hmm. they are uh, can be become excited and pleased to see you they become scared um and um and so they do seem to have some level of um awareness um but i think um a number of sort of uh behavioral scientists in the animal fields would 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 make the point that um they seem to have an awareness of their external environment and they are responsive to their external environment. But we do not know and we can't verify whether they have um, that kind of internal self-awareness. Mm. Mm. Um, do they fall into bed at the end of the day and say, oh, I had a really hard day today? Or are they actually more just driven by where their next meal is coming from, what their right. owner is doing? And many would say that they only begin to exhibit human-like qualities if it's a, um, through human interaction mm. and training that comes from a human being. And, you know, some um, scientists say that, that the most, yeah, uh, um, the most highly trained chimpanzee will never exceed the ability of a four-year-old child. And they will only mm. reach that if a human being made in the image of God actually initiates right. the training. They wouldn't seek it out for themselves. And so mm -hmm. there is still something distinctly different between even the most advanced primate mm -hmm. and the most primitive um, human in our kind of ancestry. And so how do we account for that distinction? Mm -hmm.